Hello, this is video 42, and you'll notice I left some stuff on the board. It is very much a continuation of video 41. How so? Well, we've only looked at format one. How about we take a look at format two? The other flavor of the if statement. It's got a different format, does different things. It's still got the word if, reserved word if. It's still got a condition, pointy bracket condition. Close pointy bracket, still got a colon. But I'm going to write the indented statements this time. It's still going to be indented over, but I'm just going to write that as S T M T S T, capital T, statements capital T. Then unindent down beneath that and the word else, E L S E, colon. Indent again underneath the else colon, and we'll have S T M T S F, capital F. I bet you already know what those stand for, huh? That's for statements true, statements false. We do one set of statements if the condition's true. We do the other one if the statement's false. And that is exactly the effect I'm going to write down. You could go ahead and write down your own version of the effect before I get it up here. If condition is true. Then what? Oh, surprise, surprise. Then statements T is executed. Been there, done that. We've seen that before. Here's the new part. Otherwise, we had an otherwise in format one, but it didn't look like this one. Otherwise, statements F is executed. If condition is true, then statements T, the first set of indented statements right after the if, the CPU executes those. I, I always put this in passive voice, but uh, is executed means the CPU is going to do it as part of our program. Otherwise, else, the false statements, statements F will be executed. Now, if you concentrate on this using all of your logical prowess that you got wallowing around in the bits, um, you don't have to think too hard about this to realize that when we get down to this, either that one or that one will be executed. There's no way to skip both of them. On the first format, it was possible to skip all the indented statements and only do the unindented ones. This one's not, it's not true here. Either we're going to do that set of indented statements or we're going to do that set of indented statements. There's no way to execute both of them. There's also no way to skip both of them what we in the biz would call exclusive or must be one or the other can't be both okay and that's enough on the effect what about an example switch to blue for the example and I'll think ahead and indent my own statements over here so that I got room for a trace this time example dot 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 not the beginning of the program if Degrees, D-E-G-R-E-E-S, less than 32, colon, indent, print, open parentheses, double quote, freezing, F-R-E-E-Z-I-N-G, exclamation point, close double quote, close parentheses. Then I'll unindent beneath that and put else, And my statements false will be print, double quote, mild, close double quote. Now that's four separate lines. I might have squashed them together too much. But this says if degrees less than 32, print freezing, indented underneath. Indentation is so important in Python, much more so than in most other high level languages. Else with a colon, print mild. And we could do fast and nasty trace over here. It's not 32 degrees outside. Let's say when we get to those statements, degrees is a balmy 70. What's the output going to be? Well, let's see. If degrees less than 32, it isn't less than 32. 
So it's going to skip over the true part, skips over the uh, true statements because the condition is not true, but it cannot skip the else part. It's got to do one or the other. So it's going to print out mild, almost nothing to that. Well, what if it is not 70? Let's look at the other execution path. What if I get here and it's not 70, it's 17? Oh no. Well, let's try it and see. If degree is less than 32, it looks up the current value of degrees. What this does depends on the, var uh, the values of the variables involved. 17 is less than 32, so it's going to print freezing. With an exclamation point, and it will not print mild. How many times have I said this? I might as well say it one more time. Doesn't even mean anything anymore, does it? It's going to do one or the other of those two things, but not both. Now, this is a special case where I had only one statement indented. But if I have even one statement that I want to do in one case but not the other, I'll still have to use the if else. If I've got an if without an else, then I just leave the else off and make it a format one. If I only wanted to yell freezing in the case of degrees is less than 32, then I could just leave off the else part. If there's several things I want to do, if it's less than 32, print put on a coat, add one to freezing days all this other stuff, then all I got to do is put more indented statements in here as part of the true statement block, statements T. Okay? Uh, a lot of generalization here. It's, uh, uh, you're going to have to think about this, maybe even look up examples online. There is just absolutely no way we could cover all possible what ifs on this. You can bring those up during office hours. You can bring them up during class. You can send me emails. But of necessity, it's going to kind of have to be the format, the effect, and maybe one or two examples just can't cover all the bases and on that sad note where i can't do everything i'm sorry i'm gonna have to say see you online <laughs>